Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Afnan. If you guys are new and joining me for the first time, welcome. I'm so excited to have you guys here. Today's video is going to be a video about what's in my carry-on items. Specifically, I'll be talking about what's in my personal items. So not the carry-on, but the personal item that you're allowed to take on the plane and how I specifically pack that. This video might be a little bit on the longer side because I wanna show you guys two variations. One is how I like to pack my personal item when I have a short trip, which is anywhere from two to four days. And then I have another setup that I like to use for longer trips, which is like four days and beyond. If you guys are interested in skipping to a specific part, I'll make sure that I have timestamps listed below. All right, so for shorter trips, what I really like to use is this bag. This is by Low & Sons. Um, I forget how you say the name of the bag, but I'll make sure I put it in the description below. Um, so this bag is made out of all nylon. It is a backpack, and it also has this leather detail on the front, and then all of the hardware is gold. I do have some accessories on it. This is from a vendor on Etsy. I'll link it below if you guys are listed. Just has like personal information listed on the inside of it. And then this little pom pom also came separately with this little leather tassel, which I thought was really cute and added some character to the bag. And then on this side, obviously I have of my airpods but the reason why i love this bag is because it's uh, made out of nylon it's very very durable on the sides here you also have two zip compartments for water bottles and i like that it's expandable this part right here is actually mesh which i really really like so it can actually fit a little bit bigger water bottles and then it also zips flat when you don't actually need it for that it is a backpack which i really really appreciate it now inside of the bag I got the gray interior, but it also comes in a lavender if you want that one as well. The straps are also made out of memory foam, which is a really nice touch, especially when you're traveling for long periods of time. Another component I really like about this bag is actually this little secret slip. So if you look sideways, you have this main compartment that opens here to get to the inside of the bag, but then you also have a laptop sleeve, and I think this can fit 15 inches. I'll confirm in the description below. But then in between these two pockets, you also have a secret compartment right here that I really like to get to. When this is actually on my suitcase, I'm in the airport and actually traveling, my wallet usually goes in here along with my phone and anything that I know I'm gonna re be reaching in and out for or my ID, for example. But my favorite part of this bag is actually the travel sleeve. So this, for example, here, and I'll insert a clip of how you use it. You slide this on top of whatever carry-on that you're using or a roller bag. It can actually zip close to where it can serve as a functioning pocket and you can zip the top as well when you're not using it. Now I've seen some people tuck the book bag straps into that compartment when they're not using the book bag, but I always use it as a book bag. You also have these two top handles here so that you can um, actually carry it almost like a shoulder bag and they have like a little clasp that you can use it to hold it together, which sometimes does come in handy, especially when you're running around. Now, the bag is a bit pricey, I will admit. Prior to buying this bag, I had tried a lot of cheaper alternatives. I found that over the weeks and months that I was using it to this extent, like every day for a work bag, they would really just start to kind of come apart and I was ready to invest a little bit more into a bag that was going to keep its shape and wear a little bit better. Low & Sons actually has a really amazing um, warranty. I actually had to, unfortunately, had to use them when one of the bags that I got was defective, but their customer service was absolutely amazing. They FedExed me over one immediately. It came just in time for my trip, no questions asked. They just asked me to send the old one back. Um, so I really stand behind these bags. This is the insert that kind of goes inside of the bag. So if you see here, you have a slot on the side for a potential water bottle. Um, on both sides, you have a slot here for papers. And then on the bottom, you also have two slots for some pens and for maybe some papers or some sticky notes. So now that we've covered the bag, let me kind of walk you through what's actually in the bag. So generally speaking, when I travel, no matter what bag I'm using, I'm almost always going to have smaller bags. So this is a brand um, that I found on Amazon that was really inexpensive. It actually came in a set of two. And in here is where I keep all of like my emergency stuff, right? So these are the essentials that I never leave the house without. It's in every one of my bags. In the event that I switch from one bag to the next, and I need to make sure I'm grabbing one thing that has everything, this is it. The only exception to this would be when I have my ID and that usually I have in a compartment separately, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. So inside the bag, the first thing that I have are my headphones. Now these are regular um, headphones that come with your iPhone. I have this little device thing to kind of keep them organized. It's really annoying to me when these wires are all in your bag and they're just like discombobulated and you're trying to find them and you know, you're trying to like 
like fiddle through them like that. So this is really handy to have. The next thing I have in my purse is an anchor charger. This is one of the smaller ones. I have quite a few sizes of the anchor chargers. They've worked really, really well for me. This one is perfect enough to fit in here and it'll charge my phone at least once which is really nice. This I also got on Amazon. The next thing that I really like to have in my travel bag is a little bit of perfume. This is by the brand called Travelo. Now, Amazon sells quite a few versions of this. I'll link the ones below that have worked for me. Um, I find that not all the colors work really well. Uh, the leaking is not substantial. It is enough to probably get on your nerves, but because it smells so good, I don't personally mind. If I'm really concerned about it, I'll just put it in a Ziploc bag. But the black ones and the silver ones, I've never had leak on me, so those are good. I recommend those. The next thing I have in my bag is this toothbrush. This is just a toothbrush that I got out of the travel section at Target. Something else that I like to keep in my bag is poopery. Now, if you haven't heard of poopery, I don't know where you've been at, but basically what it is, a natural essential oil that you spray in the toilet before you go, and it'll make it smell really nice if you have to do like something more than just, if you have to do more than this is really handy, especially when I'm traveling. Um, sometimes the bathrooms don't always smell nice. Um, it's helpful to have this uh, just to make you your situation a little bit more comfortable, especially like an airplane bathroom. Sometimes those can get really gross. The next thing that I carry in my bag at all time are Clorox wipes. I can't tell you how many times there's some nasty spill or whatever that's in the plane or on in the Uber or at a restaurant. So I actually always like to have Clorox wipes on me. I'm one of those people, yes, you can judge me for it, that's fine, that likes to wipe down the, the tray, I like to wipe down the whole seat, I like to wipe down the handle to the, the shade for the window. That's just me, but I like to keep those with me because they always come in handy. The other thing that I like to keep are hand wipes. So usually I'll rotate between wet ones or the Purell hand wipes. Those are really good too. Um, just in case like if you're eating or if you don't have access to get into the bathroom to fully wash your hands, those are the next best thing. Um, I try to stay away from sanitizer. The other thing I like to actually keep in my, um, in my personal item is to keep Ziploc bags. Now you might be thinking this is a little weird, but Ziploc bags are super helpful. So first I take a Clorox wipe and kind of wipe down the chair. I wipe down all of the surface areas that we're getting ready to interact with. And then what I do is I'll take a hand wipe or a wet wipe or a Purell wipe and I'll wipe my hands with that to make sure my hands are clean. And then I put all of that, I know it's a bit much. I put all of that in the Ziploc bag. So then when the stewardess comes around, I can just give her the bag and it's not like this wet, messy, nasty pile of whatever and she doesn't know what to touch. So there's also that. The next thing that I have is just this little travel size of Tylenol. Um, I like to keep Tylenol just in case I get any headaches or anything like that. Next thing I always keep with me is a Tide to Go pen. Um, and so these have been really helpful, especially when you're traveling for work and like, you know, sometimes it's makeup that like I touch my face and then I touch my shirt or something. This has always helped me get stains and little spots out of my clothes. Next thing that I have is this um, uh, nail file. So I have two uh, sides to it. One is like a metal one and one is just a, a regular nail file. I also like to keep travel flossers. So there are these little flossers that kind of come in a pack. Um, I still have my Invisalign on, um, and so it's really helpful to get stuff out of my teeth that way. So I like to keep a pack of these. The next thing I like to keep is also some Kleenex. So this always stays with me and is in my bag at all times. I always like to travel with a pen. Now the Pilot pens are my favorite. I'll link those below if you guys are interested, but I always have at least one pen on me. If I'm wearing makeup, um, my makeup will also be in there. So I just have my MAC lipstick and then my pencil that I'm using for today. I try to keep a little bit of cash on me at all times just in case. So that is also in here as well. Aquaphor is my favorite lip ointment, balm, whatever you want to call it. So I also keep some of this. Uh, Dr. Jar Ceramidin is one of my favorite moisturizers. Um, I will be doing a video specifically on skincare. I'll make sure I link it once it goes live. but. I always keep a miniature one in here, especially if I'm not wearing makeup. Uh, sometimes, you know, the plane is really dry or it's been like a long day and I want to just refresh. And so this is helpful to have. The next thing I actually keep in this pouch is a USB cable. Now this I usually use for my phone or to charge my anchor power cord that I showed you guys a little while ago. And then for the cables, I use this little magnetic tie. Um, I got these off of Amazon. I thought they were super cool, but um, it helps me stay organized and I color code which ones are things that belong to the camera, which ones belong to my phone, which ones belong um, to my computer, so everything kind of stays organized. I always keep a power adapter. Even though I have the anchor battery charger, I like to keep one of these with me. Um, and then this one actually has two slots in it, which is super helpful. 
The next thing I also keep is a small lightning cable. So I like to use these when I have my phone in my purse, but I don't want this long three foot cable. So I just keep one of these um, in my purse. Um, I always keep an extra memory card with me just because of vlogging and filming purposes. Um, so this is usually in my bag as well. And that about does it for the pouch. Um, I also like to keep lotion in my purse. So I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Jergens um, lotion. So I always have a travel set of this. I don't know if any of you guys can relate, but I do some of my best thinking um, and processing and strategy planning when I'm traveling, when I'm on the plane, you know, kind of disconnected from the world, no internet, no service, whatever. Um, so I always like to bring a notebook with me, even um, on shorter trips, I like to keep it with me and just kind of go through, you know, next steps, agenda, um, important dates that are coming up, to-do list, and just kind of do like a brain dump on the plane so that by the time I land, I feel like everything's under control and I have a plan. I already showed you the traditional headphones that I have in my bag, but I also keep a pair of ear pods. This is just the case that I got off of Amazon. I just have that clipped onto the front of my bag. Depending on how far I'm traveling, I also like to bring one of these water bottles. These are similar to the Swell water bottles. I got this from Amazon. I like the, the gold because it matches the bag, um, but this keeps water cold for I think 22 to 26 hours, which is amazing. When the stewardess comes around, instead of having them give me the cups, I have them fill my actual water bottle so that way I have it throughout the plane and I don't have to wait for when there's not turbulence or anything like that so this is really really handy to have as well the next thing I have in my bag will also be my camera especially if I'm vlogging this is the Manfrotto tripod and then this is just a quick release plate I'll link those down below if you guys are interested this is almost always with me as well and that's pretty much it for short trips now there are a few more things that I like to pack on longer trips longer being um, that the flight itself is more than um, two to three hours. So if I go to Baltimore to go see my family, that's usually about an hour to two hour flight. I won't pack more than what I just showed you, but if I'm going to California um, or somewhere further on the West Coast, then I will pack this set that I'm getting ready to show you. So for longer trips, what I like to do is I like to use the MZ Wallace bag. Now this bag is a pretty big tote. It is also made out of nylon the same way the other bag is. It has these two handles, which are very comfortable to wear. It has two handles that you can hold the bag with here. It also has a longer adjustable strap that is very comfortable to wear as well. It also has a travel sleeve similar to the style for the low end sons where it zips on the bottom and it can become a compartment like an actual pocket. From the inside, you have a few pockets here. I keep my glasses here in this little pouch that comes with the MZ Wallace bag, which is super helpful. The MZ Wallace bag also is um, a fair bit of money as well. But again, for me, I was prioritizing something that I was gonna be able to invest in once and get a lot, a lot of wear out of and get my money's worth. So, so the couple of things that are in this bag that are not in the other setup. One is if I have a flight that's longer than three or four hours, I'm going to bring a neck pillow. This is by the brand Kabu, I believe it's pronounced. But I really like this one because this one you can attach to the headrest if it's adjustable. So it looks like this, it's made out of memory foam, so it just wraps up. It looks a little deflated, but if you just give it a minute and kind of fluff it up, it'll come out. The other thing that I really like about this is that the outside of this is washable. So right before every trip, I wash this. So this is already actually laundered for my next trip coming up. The other thing that I like to keep in the same pouch so I don't lose it is actually an eye mask. I got this for relatively inexpensive off of Amazon. This has saved me so much frustration when people decide they wanna open the window first thing in the morning, like people aren't trying to sleep. Um, so this has actually saved me. It's made out of a gel foam and I like that there's a little bit of um, a concave to the actual eye portion of it so that it doesn't sit flat on your eye. It's very, very comfortable. So I like to keep that with me. I also like to keep a blanket. Now, depending on the season, um, I'll bring a different kind of blanket because I feel like no matter what, it always gets cold. In the spring, I like to bring this one. Now, this is a little bit pricey, um, but I really love how compact it is. I'm the type of person who just always ends up being cold. Like, it doesn't matter what time of the year it is. I'm always freezing. I always wear layers. That's another tip that I would give you guys um, if you also are somebody who gets cold like I do. This is the Cocoon Travel Blanket, um, and I really like the pouch. And then again, this is something that I can throw the whole thing into the wash once I get back from my trip. Now, this is the sleeve I like to keep my personal computer. So sometimes when I'm traveling for work, I'll bring my MacBook so I can do my editing and stuff like that on the computer. And I'll bring my work computer, obviously, for work. Um, but for my MacBook, I like to use this, um, this laptop case, which I really enjoy. It has a water resistant outside and on the inside it's this really soft material which I really like. Pop my laptop into here and just zip it up. 
This also came with a matching pouch that I like to put uh, cables. Um, I also like to put the dongle in there as well just to make sure that I can edit and everything is all in one place. The next thing that I absolutely have to bring on my longer flights is a pair of noise canceling headphones. So these are the Sony XM3 headphones. I really love music and I used to really like Beats but I found that the noise canceling wasn't great on them. I don't love the Bose sound, they sound okay, but um, these were new at the time um, and so I decided to offer these, but these are great. These are the best noise canceling noise canceling headphones that they have on the market right now. They're super comfortable. There's actually only like a power button and ambient button. It also comes with an app that you can kind of modify your sound, so if you like it a little bit more bass. Um, and then on this side is actually how you can control. You can skip forward to the next song, go back to the previous song, and actually even control volume all from this little touchpad, which is pretty cool. And I also love that it's rose gold detailing all over it, so that's always a plus. Currently, I only have two lenses to go with my camera, so I got these little drawstring bags for my lenses. I was super paranoid, even though I have insurance on them, I was super paranoid about like scratching the lenses or damaging them. So these bags were very inexpensive. I think it came in a pack of five. These are from Amazon, just their Amazon Basics brand. So these were great. All right, guys, that's everything that I have for my bag. If you guys like this video, please make sure that you guys give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you do that. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys like to travel with? Was there anything in my travel bag that surprised you guys? Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to cover what's in my makeup bag, as well as what's in my carry-on. But until the next video, we'll see you next time. Bye. So the first bag that we're going to get into, oh, smile lines will not let me be great, man. It's always something.